Okay, so we are back, and it's round two. Um, it's the second of September. It's just past midday. I've got a voiceover to do, and today we're going to go to the gym, which is pretty awesome. We're going to get the sign-up form at least. And uh, I've got a voiceover to do, so I'm going to literally have a shower, do the voiceover job, um, then go out. A few deliveries later on as well. Graphic deliveries. And uh, I've got some stuff that I need to sort through. I should look at the camera. I've got some stuff I need to sort through to put in the attic. But it's pretty cool. It's like Dreamcast, Sega related stuff. Some stuff I'm going to keep downstairs. Some needs to go in the attic. Because I'm sorting through everything. But we can go through that later. Um, obviously when I finish the voiceover job and we head out to the gym to get the sign up forms. Um, I'm going to uh, do a vlog on the way there and back. So I'll be back in just a moment. Hopefully I'll be shaven, a lot more cleaner. Ew. And uh, we'll head out, so I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so no shower yet because I've had, okay, it's like coming up to one o'clock now. So I had a client who give a briefing on a graphical project which was designed for print and they gave me the wrong dimensions for the document which is their own fault so I just spent past hour not doing the voiceover that I had to do uh, fixing the document from an error of their own which is becoming a common thing now and I do get some clients who put their hands up and say look I'll just pay double because you've obviously done the project twice but some people don't and you still don't get paid unless you do it which kind of sucks and sometimes if you're in a position where you have to say, look, you kind of need to pay a bit more because you kind of duped up on the briefing. You kind of gone back on the words you said, or, you know, you want to change the document dimensions and whatever stuff like that. And they can run off and not pay you. So you're kind of in a catch-22 situation where you kind of feel that you need to ask for more money. But at the same time, you think if you do, they're going to run away. So, yeah, I just spent the past hour fixing someone else's errors, which is uh, caused more delay. And like I said, I get, I'm starting to get more clients that are derpy. And I do get clients who don't speak good English sometimes. And I don't have a problem with people who don't speak good English. But um, when it comes to describing something they're after, they kind of make it hard work and not worth doing it sometimes. But anyway, I'm gonna jump in the shower now. We're gonna leave the house. I'm gonna to have to leave the voiceover till later on. But I'm on top of everything apart from the voiceover, which needs to be done for today anyway. And regarding voiceover work, I do have some exciting projects in the pipeline. So later on, I'm gonna double check with the guy who's in charge of um, this project I'm working with on. And uh, hopefully I can tell you a little bit more about it. It's Minecraft related. Pretty awesome. But yeah, I'm going to jump in the shower now, finally, and get the hell out of this house. So I'll be right back. Right, so we are outside the house, finally. Shower, shave, got a baby face. But I decided to take a detour on the way to the gym because I want to show you the situation I live in, which is typical Valley Wales. So I'll give you a panoramic view. Hopefully the camera will pick up the mountains and there is another one right behind here so it's kind of like a natural fortress I live in it's kind of awesome uh, from growing up here we kind of all take it for granted unfortunately but uh, the place I live in is actually a very naturally epic beautiful place and uh, the Sun has decided to come out for me today so I put the shades on but yeah have another look and then up here. So yeah, it looks pretty awesome like. Uh, so the gym is literally two minutes away. It's like on top of the hill opposite me. Uh, up there roughly, as you can see. So yeah, I thought I'd come down here and show you. This is the local sort of like recreational grounds. The rugby team plays here. It's a forward slash cricket pitch as well. And uh, just over there's another um, feel too and my old primary score, which is pretty awesome So I think that's gonna be it for like walking to the gym. I'm just gonna head on up there now I don't know if they want me to like make a payment there or 
take a form home or fill in a form there. Not quite sure how this happens because last time I went to the gym, I pretty much just paid per time. So it's gonna work out cheaper if I go to the gym or like regular, that's the entire thing. Check out my shoes. Oh, hang on, my camera's freaked out. Check out my shoes. I've got like really uncommon leg sizes, so my trousers tend to be a bit too long and I can't be asked to take them up really, that's just part of me. Just YOLO it, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, I can head to the gym now, so peace. Boo! Okay, so I've managed to sign up for the gym okay now. I've actually got the classes card, or the sessions or whatever, so as well as getting a gym membership, I've got access to all the classes that go on there as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is the other side of the view, by the way. It's a bit out of focus. But as you can see, there's like a farmhouse up there too, which is quite cool. But yeah, I'm going to head back home now. I'm probably going to take a pit stop in the pub. You know, kind of like last day before gym sort of effort. <laughs> but uh, I'll see you back at the house. Okay, so we are back home now. And fortunately, because I took a bit too much time in the pub, I'm going to have to call this vlog short for today, otherwise it won't go on the channel before 12 o'clock. Therefore I miss out the 2nd of September's vlog. But I want to say thanks for watching guys, make sure you tune in tomorrow because I will do the Dreamcast um, sort of stuff. i got some other retro gaming stuff I want to go through to sort out before I put some stuff in the attic. So uh, yeah, and I'll tell you tomorrow about my gym plans. We won't be starting tomorrow, but the day after, which I'm really excited about. Unfortunately, the hardest thing is going to the gym, not doing the gym. So as long as I can get myself in the routine of getting up in the morning and going there, things are going to be great. But like always, peace out.